and Twitch broadcast. XSplit temporarily didn't work this week. Really? It wouldn't let me log in for, for a day. Did it give you a message? Yeah. What was the message? I think it said like something expired or something. Alrighty. But then the next day I was able to log in just fine. So. I must have been having Hello, some Nicole. Issues. Cody, apparently your stream looks fantastic. Thank you. Wait, wow, that was fucking fast. <laughs> Nikki, have you just been sitting on on the uh, the Twitch chat waiting for us to? I was just streaming a second ago. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, all right, so uh, let's start the local recording. Let's do this. I'm ready. Are you ready? I am ready for some football. <laughs> That's never true. That's that is sure? the most blatant of lies. Well, I was going to talk about the Super Bowl. Did you see... Um, the, how that the guy Eagles? wide received? Yes. The Eagles. Yeah, you need to change the uh, what we're playing, Cody. Oh, shit. All right, just a second. In the name of our stream. Uh, <laughs> I can oh, wait. That. I'm not logged in right now to oh, that shit. account. Hold on. Where's my phone? Fuck, I can do it. Sorry. Where's my phone? Da, 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 da. I don't know where my phone is. An error occurred. Nikki's gonna log in and do it. Thank you, Nikki. It's like you're here. Like you're here on the show okay, right now. Now, I'm I'm spoiling later. Oh no, Cody, don't. Later events. Don't let I, them know. I. I'm sorry. Raul Harry. Your boy. Hey, Raul. Okay. Everything's queued up. Uh, Nikki's changing the name. We can local record again. Cool. Cuella Deville. Oh, are you are you playing some 3DS or something? No, that's the game. That's the game. It's playing. It should not be playing. It yeah. should be paused. I'm opening a Ricola. Ricola. It's dual action. Swiss cherry. Dual. It soothes cough and relieves sore throat. Ricola. Thanks for sponsoring video game YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you, Ricola. All right, uh, we are. What's our episode local? number? One hundred and twenty-six. One hundred and twenty-six. Yep. I'm gonna delete these small files so I'm not confused as to which one is the actual video when it comes time to edit tomorrow when I should be doing other things. All right, cool. Let's get started. Yeah. Yeah. Mini Roaring Fire. Right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to YNIN's Cartridge Blowers, the show where we give video games a second chance to make a first impression. I'm Cody Coleman, and with me, as always, is Matt Krua. It's it's me, and me alone. Yeah, there's there's no Nikki this week. She's off uh, in a frozen wasteland. Uh, I don't know, sex. watching watching like uh, people get like hitched or something. I pff, whatever. Is, is that when you get what uh, killed by Will Smith? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, but specifically in his his uh, early two yes. thousands love uh, attire from the movie Hitch. Uh, yes. yes. Yeah. No. Uh, Nikki's gone. She's dead. She's frozen. I don't know. She'll be back uh, next time. Uh, but this time it's just the two of us. Oh uh, man! Finally, two white guys talking about video games on YouTube. Oh man! Yeah, the unique identifying factor is gone. That's you know, bad. YouTube has been has been waiting for it, and here we are, the two white guys, two two WG number two. <laughs> uh, and get your stickers at our at our merch shop, uh, two WG dot guff 
<laughs> we're we're government affiliated now. Most uh, white people are. Yeah, uh, but this is the show where in the second half we play video games based around the theme, and uh, this time the theme is going to be Adver Games. This is like I think our third time to do this. Adver but, uh, Games. Yeah, games. Brought to you that... by Ricola. Ricola, <laughs> number one in throat helping. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely uh so yeah uh th- basically the games are all gonna be uh basically trying to sell you something some kind of commercial of some sort uh but yeah um you can watch us live every other friday on twitch.tv slash cartridge blowers but you can also watch the edited version if you don't want to stay up and watch us uh you know when it's our schedule by going over to our youtube channel youtube.com slash ynin pod you're seeing both of those things pop up. I Whoa. just flipped uh, sides because I forgot oh to, to change that. But that's all right. We're going to go back. It's fine. But, yeah. So, uh, yeah. YouTube.com slash YNINPod. Twitch.tv slash Cartridge Blowers. Did you see those things pop up? That was crazy. It was. It's almost as if it were magic. But, uh, yeah. So, this uh, that's what we're going to do later. If you're watching on YouTube, you can click in the timestamp in the description below to go ahead and skip there now. Uh, otherwise, you're just going to have to watch us talk a little bit. We'll we'll probably keep it short. We don't, you know, have uh, lives, so uh, maybe Plus, we didn't play we, anything we, good. We've got to like we've got sponsors this week, so we've got to keep it up. Yeah, absolutely. Like so- equate budget <laughs> ibuprofen when your heads are hurting. Come swallow pills. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Uh, so, um, Matt, did you play anything you would like to talk about this week? I did. Okay. I did. This is my fusion dance pose because I play Dragon Ball Fighters a lot. Oh, cool. So, what are you thinking? Um, it's fantastic. It's one of the best fighting games um, I would say I've ever played. Really? Um, yeah, it's really easy and fun to get into. Um, if if you're like me, and you are a person who enjoys fighting games, but is not particularly good at them, then yeah, you like me, game for you. Oh, oh boy. Okay, I like that. Yeah, it's got a very easy uh, skill. I, uh, there's a word I'm looking for, and I can't find it. But um, it, it's easy to get into and easy to learn basic combos. Um, each character plays differently. You, it's a three-on-three fighter, a la Marvel versus Capcom, um, and you've got a lot of different characters to choose from from throughout the series. It's also a very, very pretty game. Uh, I can't stress that enough. How good-looking this stupid game is! <laughs> it does it so. Does, does it successfully look just like the show? Like well, it not, not only is it it's, it's, it's their three D models that look two D. And they look like 2D hand drawn animation. Um, they painstakingly went through, and every character's move set, like just the animations, are set to match manga panels. Really? Like the, the exact way that they're drawn. So, like, there might be Goku might have some like overhead attack, and that's literally the exact way it looked when he fought like Frieza on Namek and did the same. It's not like a move; it's just a hit. And they replicated it because they have that level of detail. Um, wow. Okay. Cool. Pretty intense. Uh, it's. Uh, I've been playing through the story mode. Um, yeah. And story mode is good and bad. Okay. Um, it is good and it's bad in that uh, it's just a lot of battles against uh, with nothing. Um, you're just fighting c- clones. Um, uh-huh. And so it's just a bunch of meaningless fights, and they're pretty easy. Uh, it's cool because uh, you get a brand new story, and there are a lot of side cutscenes that are pretty funny. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if I did I talk about this last episode. I don't think I did. Uh, the story mode's entire purpose, and actually, uh, so in the story, Goku has been taken over by a, a human soul that possesses him. And makes him able to fight. Oh wait, no, you did talk about this. They talk yeah. about this show? yeah. Talk about to you personally. Oh, I, dude, I don't remember. I, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna repeat <laughs> it if it was on the show. He takes he takes over Goku so Goku can fight, and uh, this is all basically so that since he can only possess one person at a time, 
it explains the tag battle system. Yeah, right. It gives an in-universe canon reason for tag fighting, which is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> like, I guess they wanted to be like, there needs to be an excuse for why your friend does not help you. Uh, and it has to be possession. Body possession. Have they seen Dragon Ball? Like, <laughs> literally people watch a little boy fight a giant bug monster. And they're like, oh man, he's going to kill a little boy. Nothing we well, can do about it. <laughs> yep. Suppose he's going to die. All yeah, right. Well, poor, that's fine. Poor child. Um, so, yeah, it's a lot of fun, though. Uh, a lot of the cutscenes are really funny. Um, and I'm, I, I just really like the gameplay, though. Honestly, it's a lot of fun to play. Awesome. Yeah. I got my team. Um, Yamcha is top tier in the game. And um, I, I think I like Tien better, though. I have Tien, Yamcha, Tien, and I'm. Playing around with some other characters, thing I just kind of dig Goku. Um, bye, Royal Harry. Um, and yeah, so that's Dragon Ball Fighters. Bye, give, it, give it a shot when it's cheap. Yeah, right on. Yeah, I uh, I don't I I liked the other fighters, uh, Dragon Ball Fighter. Well, some of them, some of them were terrible. This is uh, this is the best one. Okay, awesome. Well, then I'll definitely have to give it a shot. Did you yeah. play anything else? I did. Uh, I talked last week about a game called Celeste. Yeah, um, how is it? So, uh, so I finished it. Okay. Um, I'm say finished. I didn't 100 percent it. I don't think I'm good enough to 100 percent it. Okay. Um, it gets very very hard, but it's one of those games that is just the perfect amount of hard. Okay. And like I, I'm, for instance, on a level, it keeps track of how many times you've died in a level, and so by the end of one level, I may have died 300 times. Okay. Right? But when you die, you start at the beginning of the room you're in, and it's a series of rooms that you're going through. And so you get to try again and again and again and again. You just get better and better and better. And so um, I don't know. I felt my skills progressing as I played more and more. And the controls in the game are just so perfect um, for what it is. I mean, you've got jump and you've got a double jump, and then each level has its own tricks that you do with those mechanics and that's it okay um hey. it's also got a very kind of beautiful story okay thing. yeah um so what's this do, do you mind saying what it is yeah i guess spoiler alert for those who <laughs> want to play it um it's about a girl who has been going through some tough times she's been dealing with depression and um she decides that she wants to take her fate to her own hands and so she was going to climb this mountain and along the way the mountain turns out to have essentially this sort of mystical presence to it and her depression takes physical form oh and uh, as like a dark version of herself and the inter interplay between those two is um i don't know it's a really it's a really it's a really well done story for what is essentially a gameplay focused game um yeah and there's a lot of side characters that are fun um it's 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 a, it's a good time it's i i would say uh it belonged in 2017 <laughs> the the year of good games yeah. yes yeah it's right that, on that good it's really fantastic well, maybe I'll have to pick that up. Um, it's going to have some killer speed runs at SGDQ this year, I guarantee. Awesome! Excited. Uh, yeah. So, like, I, I took, I kind, I pulled it up on the Switch very briefly, and it does not look the way that I thought it would look. It looks. Um, it's I don't even want to say. I don't. Yeah, it doesn't even really look eight bit. It looks like somewhere between Atari and Nintendo, but prettier. Like it's and what's, weird. What's really neat is that. Um, at one point in the game, you can find a in a version of the game of one of the levels, and it's done in uh, ColecoVision graphics. Really? Yeah, with the same gameplay, but they've just kind of made this old, early nineteen eighties version of it, and it's really cool. Interesting. Um, All right. There's a, there's a lot of fun secrets hiding within this game. Um, I, I can't recommend it enough. It's and like. I, I, I don't play the Switch handheld very often. Um, this is I, I play through this game mostly handheld. Uh, I think it's perfect for it. Right on. 
because you can stop and start and stop and start. So that's awesome. I'm all right. So maybe that and Blaster Master are what I'll use. My yeah, Switch point Blaster song. Master is still really good too. Yeah, I think right. Celeste is a better game. Okay, cool. It's uh, how much is it? It's like it's not, it's not like, expensive. Like twenty bucks, I think. Yeah, that's not too bad. All right. Uh, anything else you play? No, did you play anything, buddy? I did actually. Oh, cool. I uh, I played a game that I bought when it was on sale, uh, beginning of the winter, um, called uh, Little Nightmares, okay. which uh, is it's a creepy game. It's actually creepier than I thought it would be. It's a, a puzzle game in the gameplay and story style of Limbo, in that it doesn't give you a whole lot of reason for the shit that's happening. Uh, but the visual style is very different, and you also run along a 3D plane as opposed to just side-scrolling. So it's not silhouette, it's not 2D, sure. but it's otherwise very similar. Uh, but it's I, a puzzle game. It is a puzzle game, yeah. Okay. Uh, it's a puzzle platformer. Okay. Um, and there's some really creepy shit in it. Uh, you play like this little kid that's in this little raincoat, don't know why. Uh, you appear to be on some kind of maybe boat. Um, and then just lots of really weird stuff happens. I'm assuming you are playing the kids the little nightmares. And that explains <laughs> why everything is just makes no sense. Sure. Uh, but it's got a really cool visual style. And um, if you like creepy games and you like um, uh, fairly simple puzzlers, I believe you can play this entire game in five hours, which is why I waited for it to get on sale, because sure. I did not want to spend twenty dollars for a five-hour game. Uh, I was, was sale. Uh, it was like eight bucks, something like that. Not bad. And that's fine. I'm okay with that. So yeah, and it it was fun. Uh, I made the mistake of uh, playing it next to my wife uh, right before we went to bed in the dark. Uh, so it was. That was a little creepier, maybe, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> you so. got the ambiance going, which is what you need. Absolutely. It's definitely, a, like, a Halloween game if you sure. want something for that. But beyond that, I've played um, Mario Rabbids some more. I beat the story mode, um, collecting the chests and uh, doing the challenges because I hate myself. Sure. Uh, and uh, just feel the need to 100% this. Uh Probably not gonna. Um, you can't. Find, it's doable. I can. Th finding those chests after the fact gets really fucking tedious. <laughs> so uh, I'm not gonna lie. I pulled up a walkthrough for the first two levels uh, after I had already played the level once, then gone back into the challenges, and like there were still three or four chests I was missing. So sure. I'm like, fuck, I'm just going to go through the, the damn walkthrough and, and find every one of them uh, until I've gotten all of them. And well, you've only 100% it, which you should. Um, there's the DLC coming within the next month or so. Right. And that's a yeah. whole new world. Yeah, and that's fine. Uh, but yeah, I, and I I played some of the ultimate challenges and fuck man, I I've beaten them. A couple Damn. of them took a couple tries. The uh, and the problem is like you could be doing really good for like half an hour, forty minutes, and then die and have to do it again. <laughs> can, can I can I tell you what how to beat them? Yes, please. Uh, Rabbit Mario and Rabbit Luigi. Okay. See, I have regular Luigi, Mario, and Rabid Mario. Yeah. Uh, Rabid Luigi. His vampire dash. He is needs probably to use the vampire dash and put vampire on his gun, and you're good to go. Okay. That's be, that's gonna be what I have to do. His vampire really should only affect one person, you would think. But no, if he infects someone with vampire, then Mario can shoot them, and Mario regains health. Yeah. Too. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. That game's fun. I love yeah. that game. That's really all I've played. Um, yeah. So with that, we can move on to talking about uh, some games that are coming out. Ooh, the future. Yeah, the future. So uh, this week, I um, only really got two things I wanted to talk about. Um, Ooh, the barren future. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's some things that are coming out that look okay, but really not worth taking time on the show to talk about. Uh, February 16th, 2018, a game called uh, Fee 
comes out for okay. the PC, Xbox One, PS4, and Nintendo Switch. Uh, and that is a game. It's uh, very pretty, um, very artistic. Uh, you play through like a, sort of a Nordic world. Mm-hmm. Um, and the gimmick here is you kind of like Ocarina of Time or Wind Waker kind of style. You can control the different notes that the the character can uh, sing, and you use that to figure out how to talk with every living being in the forest. Everything that is alive you can talk to in some way using this, and they will uh, help you through... Uh, puzzles and things of that nature, and uh, it it looks kind of neat. Um, I, I'm sure there will be a PC release at some point. It's sure. just not on the docket for the future. Uh, and in which case, if they do, I'll probably pick it up uh, whenever it goes on sale. Uh, I don't think I'll. I probably want to pay a full game price for it until I see more about it. But yeah, uh, have you heard about it? I I feel like I've seen a trailer. Okay. And I, I don't remember what... I, I know I've heard the name, though. Okay. Right on. And then uh, the next game, put on here mostly for Matt here, uh, coming out February 20th, 2018, Metal Gear Survive for the Xbox One and PS4. Okay. So let's, let's talk a little bit about Metal Gear Survive. Okay. Let's do it. Metal Gear Survive is in the Metal Gear Solid 5 engine, so that's great. Mm-hmm. Metal Gear Solid Five is definitely a fantastic game. Um, however, uh, it's not made by Hideo Kojima because he and Konami have parted ways, very Aww. mess, very messily. Um, I th- yeah, I've heard about this. Yeah, they were super shitty to him, and uh, so this is made by essentially a scab team. Okay. And from what I've seen of the, I've seen people playing. <coughs> pardon me, the beta. Um, I don't, it, it looks good and bad. Okay. So it's like a four player co-op game, right? And you're trying to, there are these weird zombies that have been infected by this weird crystal that replaces their heads. Like their heads are just this crystal and, um, what? Yeah. And so they swarm around and try and kill you. Um, but you have to try and like build your base up and go out for supplies. So it's a survival type game, obviously. Um, which is not what Metal Gear is. Metal Gear is stealth infiltration missions. Right. Um, and ridiculous stories. But like you can do weird actiony things, like you can build fences on the fly, like you send out a little robot that builds a fence for you. Well that's kinda neat. Kinda, but <laughs> it's not Metal Gear, and I don't know. It doesn't look fun. It looks interesting, but it doesn't look fun. I don't know. We'll see. There's also no PC port listed here either. Not that I know. Um, of, no. So yeah. Uh, so I don't know. Well, Konami is bad now. Yeah. Oh well. Uh, it had to happen eventually, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, that's really it, man. Uh, don't worry, it happens. Yeah, why don't we get into actually playing our games, and we got a lot of them this time. Okay. So, like I said at the beginning of the episode, uh, this week our theme is going to be Adver Games. Adver Games. Adver Games. Brought to you by Rubber Bands. <laughs> <laughs> rubber bands use them to band money together but spend the money on more rubber bands <laughs> you should do every commercial that that anyone listens to ever. okay listen guys i'm ready give me a product oh wait i got one brought to you by ninja turtles tissues ninja turtles is pocket tissues 10 piece two ply can't lose <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, well, uh, even though we don't have Nikki here this week, we uh. still have uh, four games that we're going to play, uh, assuming I don't have to cut for time. Right. <laughs> so uh, we're going to start out with Matt's uh, first game. Ooh, I have a game. Um, so, Adver Games, right? Yep. So let's talk. Uh, this game was made to advertise a musician. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Now, this was literally this was made by another person. They were hired to make this game in order to advertise someone who was not popular at the time. Okay. Since this game has come out back in 2010 or so, um, the musician became successful. Because of this game, obviously. Yes, this game <laughs> set them into superstardom. And now <laughs> they are here for you to enjoy. There are many, many drops. Um, <laughs> the game we're playing first is called Skrillex Quest. Okay. And um, Cardi was wondering if it counts as advert games. I think the fact that it was commissioned by Skrillex to advertise Skrillex. I think it um, counts. Counts, yes. Yeah. All right, all um, right. It is a browser game, but um, it doesn't look it. And it's the the premise is basically what if you know you know when you get dust on your cartridge, yeah, and you have to blow it, yeah. What if you don't? <laughs> what if you just play it in that state? What if you just play it? I I'm pretty sure I've tried. You get a rainbow screen and don't <laughs> advance further. But what happens to the world inside, Cody? Oh, I see. All right. So I, I'm assuming lots of uh, base drops. Yes. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's get into it. If you have nothing else to say, let's do it. All right. So yeah, again, this is this is being played in a browser. Ah, you get gold cartridge and everything. Heck yeah, dude. So it all began with a simple speck of dust. Okay. So we get our epic storyline. Now, when I say this is meant to advertise Skrillex, that it's is not really as... to advertise dust. Yes, this is very <laughs> pro dust. Um, oh that's man. It. So I may have sold this game a bit short. Oh, it's kind of cool. <laughs> okay. I'm wondering if this game is going to be unbearable. <laughs> no, it's actually kind of neat. All right. I mean, yes, there is a lot of Skrillex playing. Um, oh, man. So a mysterious plague is a center in our world, warping everything it touches with ugliness and decay. That's rude. Right. It is too late for me. I have become infected, and now I will finally join my daughter in death. Fun. Okay, all right. So it's an upbeat game. Yeah, go P1. Save our yeah. world from this plague. So I am P1, the hero. Okay. Ah, the, the king exploded. <laughs> As kings are apt to do. You don't remember when Henry VIII exploded? <laughs> Drop that base and explode the king. <laughs> uh, so you use the arrow keys in the space bar, and that's pretty much it. Okay. That's the controls for this bad boy. Okay, so it's all black and white now. Yeah. You're, so, you're in the Game Boy. Yeah, so I have to defeat these glitches. Okay, all right. And they're making, like, Whoa. corrupt NES sprites. Whenever I get hit, the game corrupts more. Oh, that's kind of an interesting... Yeah, see, this game is kind of neat. All right, it's got some neat elements to it. Uh, and, and, but it's also kind of weird. <laughs> so I'm going to get this box. It was hard to get it. And I got the first dead princess key. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'll never find out. I do find out, but... My old friend, the world is in there. Are you ready to die? I'm going to choose horse. <laughs> and nothing happens. So that's great. Alright. So you just gotta... Go around and slice dudes. It's, it's yeah, Legend it's, of Zelda. You're, you're just killing a bunch of cubes. Right. Um... So, you must find my sullen heart ticking under the ground. Okay. Which I think is what uh, the singer just said with their mouth. So, this music is better than I remember Skrillex music being to an extent? Right. Wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> it is kind of just this song for most of the game, though. Okay. Um... No one is safe from the glitch, not even down here. 
So in this world, this glitch has been going on for like a millennia. I, I think so. It's not really explained, but so now I go through this Zelda uh, dungeon. Yeah, absolutely a Zelda dungeon. Yeah. And I like the way the floor works, and I can recognize some of the sprites. Um, sorrow, doom, hopelessness, death. I won't be needing this anymore. And so he's going to give me a piece of the scroll. Okay. I don't so, know what that does or means, and I never find out. <laughs> well, you probably have to beat the game, I would imagine. I do beat the game. Oh, you do? Okay. I find many more pieces of scroll, and I never find out. I never get the full thing, and I don't know what it does. Do you ever fight someone that isn't a flashing cube? Yes. Okay. You'll see them. All right, cool. Between, between liquor or love. I chose liquor, and so now me and this old man are going to get drunk. All right, all right. I'm in this place for a while. Um, I cut some of it out, and then it falls apart. I kind of dig the, uh, the the retro Zelda dungeon style that it has. Oh, man, you're falling into, like, the nether void. Right? And so... I, I think this is a Nintendo commercial. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's advertising how your NES breaks and what happens when you yeah. the car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is this is what Nikki was really doing when she yes. was doing the cartridge tilt. And so now I'm in this desert, and uh, I get up, I can run around. Oh, here's a guy at the desert store. All the food is poisoned. Well, oh, okay. It's by trees. <laughs> all the trees are dead. Great. Awesome. What is... So <laughs> all the children have cancer. <laughs> You're next. What a crappy shop. <laughs> Here, have a key. <laughs> I did it. I unlocked the key by talking to a depressing man. All right. So uh, glitches keep kind of coming at me like trains. There's another guy out here, but the controls are a little slippery in the desert. For some reason, it has ice physics. What? Well, I guess. All right. It's glitchy. That's fine. All right. They look like big, good, strong hands, don't they? I always thought that's what they were. My little friends, there's Glass Joe for some reason dead on the bottom right of his text oh, box. It's, whoa, it is. The glitch pulled them right out of my hands. I failed. This is a weird glitch. It pulls <laughs> it pulls sprites from other games. Yeah, no, I, like, I saw a bunch of Mega Man sprites, some Ninja Turtle sprites. Uh, I'm sure, I, I, I'm honestly sure everything here is probably from something else. Yeah, and I'm sure they do not have the rights to use them in any oh, no. way. Yeah. Um, I should mention this game is no longer available where it originally was. I had to find it on a uh, kind of defunct games site. Okay. Well, Skrillex doesn't need this uh, copyright right. infringing game anymore. I mean, Skrillex, other than having a Skrillex song Jesus? in it... Jesus? Yeah, now it's Jesus. Um, other than having a Skrillex song in it, it doesn't really seem Skrillex related. No, not really. Oh, that's kind of neat. So there's the dead princess. The, um, oh, okay. So you need a key to unlock each one of those locks. I need five keys. You don't so, have enough. Well, I have four. So we're going to go up this ladder. Climb this dubious ladder to your certain <laughs> doom. And there are glitches coming in from the left and right. And I can now press left and right to slash them. Like it's the motorcycle minigame in Final Fantasy VII. Um, All right. Oh, shit. How are you supposed to hit that? It came behind you. Right? Oh, all right. I have a lot of health. and Oh, so cool. There's a hole in the sky. That's... Yeah. So now I get to use keys or slash the locks. Well, I do have a lot of keys. I have one, two, three, and five. Okay. So you're missing one. Yeah. So I can just beat this one up. Oh, really? So you don't have to go back and... Now. Oh, so by the if, way, I guess seizure alert? I see, uh, yeah. So what if you showed up without any keys? Could you just break all of them? Yes. In which case, what's the point of the keys? I don't... What's the point of anything? Uh, the, Read the princess ghost. Man. Well, that's... Oh, no. Summit. Which I think is the name of the song. Oh, okay. I'm not familiar with Mr. X. I'm not either. But, oh god, here he is. Yep, there he is. Playing, uh... 
<laughs> music for a bunch of servers. Yep. Well, it turns out Skrillex is evil? Wait. He's the glitch? Yeah, and he said he wants to kill everybody in the world. Um, so he's making the servers attack me. Okay. And now they're sending glitch boxes after me. I think I've had this exact nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, I also get really, you know, creeped out by servers. <laughs> well, ones that shoot fucking blinking boxes of sprites at you. That's true. I mean, I'm already scared by Sprite. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a 7-Up. So, all player. right. So, you kind of fought something that isn't a flashing box. Well, just wait. Okay. So, now these servers, they're going to become flashing boxes. I have to fight my way through them. Is this also an escort mission? Can your lady get killed? I don't think she can, no. Okay. So this is this section's all about timing. Okay. All right. So. <laughs> all right. We got him. We got him. I gotta say, for a web game, this isn't that bad, right? This looks pretty good. All right. Time for the Skrillex battle. Okay. I can shoot giant glitch blocks at me so I can switch lanes and get down there and hit him. <laughs> all right, all right. It's kind of so like uh, Banjo Kazooie, the last fight. <laughs> why would you make the villain of the game the, the thing, thing you're, you're trying, trying to sell? To yeah. I have no idea. That sounds like flawed logic. So the entire world has been destroyed at this point. Um, it's all been destroyed. And so now our friends are, um, our hero and our heroine are going to have to have one last ditch effort. All right. So are you actually jumping here or is this just, uh, this, is, this is, this is an ending cutscene. Okay. Um, but it's all worth it F to flip a lever. So they flipped a lever and that makes what they're standing on. Erupt out of the ground, but wait, ah. this is, I'm telling you the ending is, is fantastic. Okay. It's, it's, uh, so now they're, they're all above it. She plays the whistle. <laughs> okay. And there's the speck of dust on the dust on the cartridge. Oh. Well. <laughs> and then he, he, he win. <laughs> All right, I like that. I can dig that. Yeah. Uh, all right, cool. So oh. you get kind of your score at the end. There were different things I could find. I didn't find everything. Uh, I don't care, too. But, uh, yeah, so. Okay. So, man, that uh, <laughs> that was Skrillex Quest, I suppose. That is well, an interesting way to advertise something. Yeah, what do you think? Not terrible. Yeah, it looked better than I would have expected a web game called Skrillex Quest right. to be. Yeah, exactly. Right on. So, uh, anything else you want to say before we move on? Not at all. Uh, go, go listen. To, you don't have to listen to Skrillex. Don't. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can if you want. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna right. Skrillex shame right here. But uh, you don't have to. But we're not your dads. Yeah. Exactly. Unless you want us to be. Well, <laughs> they, that there's a whole form process. Uh, there's <laughs> a lot of red tape. Uh, there's anyway. a lot of fan fiction. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I, Oh God! I hope not. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's move on to my game. Um, my my uh, my first game. Um, so I played a game that uh, takes uh, our little our little candied friends, the M and M's. Freeze! Oh. The, oh no, no, it's uh, M and M's. Uh, 
on an adventure. In fact, it's called M&M Adventure for the Nintendo DS. They worked hard on that name. They really did, because there, there's a lot of M&M games, Matt. More than I thought. Really? Uh, yeah. So I played the one that was more like a uh, platform game and not like a, a racer or a party game or uh, collect all the minis. Uh, okay. And they build this as a game that takes place around Christmas, uh, but all the levels are apparently supposed to have a theme based around another holiday. So let's let's just watch it and we'll see how well they do that. Okay, I'm ready. Right on. I guess I should probably play it. I got it. You got it. All right. Okay, M and M Adventure. Let's go. I'm ready. For, I'm ready to go on an adventure with you. Yeah, me too. Oh, so, the, uh, green. green one. Yeah, and then you see it's Christmas, and I. My I'm... favorite of the M and M's characters. Yeah. Uh, so now I'm red. Oh, right. hey, it's me, Billy West. Okay. Yeah. So uh, now it want uh, it wanted me to pick up a coin, but uh, I said nope. I do what I want. So you said they make a lot of M and M games. They really do. There's they're like they're like M and M Hunter. Yeah, kind of. Maybe okay. Now, right there, I picked up an M and M. Okay. As oh, an no. item. Which that oh, means no. in this world, <laughs> there are M and Ms that are not sentient uh, oh, creatures. No. <laughs> And can instead be collected, uh, I'm assuming, as some form of currency. Okay. Uh, so I, I don't know what is happening here. I just start pressing buttons. Sure. Uh, yeah, so now I'm in Eminem's HQ. Great, finally. Finally. Take, take down those bastards. Absolutely. They needed to be taken down a peg. <clears throat> That's where right. candy saved nicely. 119 Her. candies to go. What? Yep. It's too many. Uh, all right, so I'm in this weird uh, world. I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. Uh, they don't hold your hand, which is good, but uh, they also don't really help you either. Hey, I have another question. Yes, Eddie. go ahead. Um, who the hell is this game for? Dude, I'm assuming just rampant Eminem fans. How many like, of those are there? Like One? Uh, I don't know. You, you'd think, but like, we've been to stores that are entirely M and M themed. Yeah, like, it closed. I, there's two of them. There's one in Las Vegas and one in New York. Uh, you that are, anything in Las Vegas. That's true. Yeah, multi stories of M and M merchandise. All right. Boy, so there is nothing more exciting than the extremely slow screen transitions of M and M's adventure. <laughs> Right, and just me sort of walking around. All right, so now I've got, I've got Holy some wings. Holy shit! So now I've got to fly, and this is uh, terrifying. yeah, and the controls are real bad. So I'm missing fucking everything. Imagine if you opened up a bag of M and M's, and this motherfucker just flew out, like dive bombing you. Eat my friends, well, yeah. I probably buy more packages of M and M's. Honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and get peanuts. I always liked him better. Yeah, yeah. I would rather have played as as the yellow one. As Ray Romano's brother. Yeah. Except it's I think it's J.K. Simmons, not Brad Garrett. <laughs> yeah, but he's doing a, a Ray Romano's brother impression. Yeah. So I still have not found any levels themed around a holiday like the Wikipedia There's said. A tree. Except for this office right here. Okay. Uh, is this the is this the office of Eminem HQ? Is this the Eminem boss? I uh, yeah, I just have to fight the sleeping yellow one and the green one. That's the uh, secretary. Okay. Uh, so I'm doing? trying to figure out where the hell to, I was hoping I could maybe switch to the yellow one right there, but I can't. So I'm picking up some coins for reasons, Sorry. I suppose. Once you go red, you never get out of bed. <laughs> what a depressing saying for red. <laughs> All right, so I guess I'm. Uh, there's the Valentine's Day thing right there. It Is this looks like Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, I think maybe it's trying to be real poor, poor real poor <laughs> job. So uh, the controls are real bad in this game. So I've decided uh, maybe maybe I I don't really want to go to Valentine's World. I'll just instead walk over here and touch 
this thing. And now, I don't know why, but I'm all of a sudden in first person. Uh, oh, no. And I can't jump. Uh, I just sort of walk around as a camera. Oh, now I can jump. I opened a door. Do you think, do you think that when M&Ms die, they become ghosts? Like this? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So maybe you're an M&M that died with a, uh, with a passion. <laughs> And 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 now you have unfinished M M&M and M business. <laughs> Every time I eat a package of M and M's, I just get a whole room of ghosts. Yeah, all, all of them are like, "We never went to Paris." <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, I I gave up. I I uh, I decided after four minutes that I was done with that game. Uh, I would instead go play something else, which I do, and we will see what that something else is after your game. Uh, Man, but yeah, I can't wait for more M&M games though. I love Eminem Adventure, um, Eminem Strike Back, yeah, Eminem uh, Fury Road. Oh, um, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> I don't well, know. It's too too much. Too too M too M. I don't yeah, know. no, it's starring Vin Diesel. It's great. Yeah, it's as, uh, yeah. as green. Yeah, it's <laughs> the lady. Uh, yes. Yeah. So uh, that game was uh, real boring, real bad. Controls were very frustrating. Um, I do not suggest playing it. Uh, I do not suggest... Uh, I, maybe buy it so you can break it, because it, sure. it was shit. It was super shit. Um, you know what's not shit, maybe? Your game? My game. Matt, what'd you play? You ever have a game called Bulletstorm? I did, yes. So Bulletstorm came out around like 2011, 2012. Yeah. Uh, PlayStation 4, or PlayStation 3, Xbox 360. It was a first person shooter developed by Epic Games. And uh, it was supposedly pretty good. I never played it. Um, but supposedly it was a return to what at that point was not a first person shooter genre anymore, like the old fast paced Quake, Doom, arcade action style. Um, and people seem to like it okay. Um, in order to, and, and we're about to get pretty meta here, uh, Bulletstorm had a pretty uh, audacious advertising campaign mm-hmm. wherein they, it was kind of like the Crash Bandicoot campaigns of old, where Bulletstorm, in their ads, took on the other first person shooter franchises and called them shit. Okay. And they were like, everything they do is shit. All these other games are garbage. <laughs> Buy Bullet Storm. It's time for the Storm of Bullets. Um, was, that, was that their tagline? Probably. Yeah. I mean, listen, I've been doing taglines all show. I'm really good at it. I know these things. <laughs> Try Bullet Storm. Get your Storm umbrella for bullets in the umbrella. Here we go. <laughs> but in order to really stick it to some of their competitors, yeah. In order to advertise Bullet Storm, the makers of Bulletstorm made a Call of Duty parody game? Uh, uh, what? They made an entire game that was meant to call Call of Duty shit and advertise Bulletstorm. <laughs> a separate okay, game sure. <laughs> did, did they charge for this game or was it... Uh, oh. Uh-oh. Did Cody just drop from the call? It re- <laughs> my my uh, hangouts refreshed the page on me without me asking it to do that. Pretty weird, Marshall. Um, uh, cool, so that's fine. Go ahead. You're gonna edit this. So, what's the question? Did it was it free? Right? Yes. Was it free? It was free. Yeah, it was available on PC only. Uh, you could download it, and um, it's it's a it's called Duty Calls. <laughs> Duty call. D U D U T Y. Please grow up. Yeah, but like, do they make that joke? They don't, but they should have. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, all right. Well, anything else you would like to say, or should we? Uh, let's, let's, just, let's just take a gander. Let's let's do it. Let's take a gander. So this is pretty much. It looks like a Call of Duty game. Yeah, uh, it's got its own controls. Okay. Oh, so you listen. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 
What? And that was it. <laughs> okay, was cool. Receiving important war messages full of important instructions about war and stuff, etc. So they really got top tier voice talent for this. Entering real life war scenario. <laughs> <laughs> so every time I fire a bullet, a guy says boring. <laughs> it's like right there. So I'm feeling pretty good. All right. <laughs> so now it's it's very realistic. Wow. <laughs> this game is just being mean. It is. Kind of mean. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so now we just continue through the game. Uh oh. Pick up a small meaningless stick. Congrats. Uh <laughs> is, is it Tommy is Tommy Wiseau in this game <laughs> <laughs> and so the game becomes slow motion Amber you and I had the same idea it was Oh, you are doing very well. I, I am ranking up. I'm going through the ranks pretty, pretty, pretty quickly here. Um, and so you can see there's just giant tanks, um, big trucks, lots of corridors to go through. Absolutely. Yeah. And enemies will pop up out of corridors. <laughs> Uh, there's a jump button, but you can barely jump. Just like in Call of Duty. Yeah. <laughs> What's with the boring? Because shooting guess, in Call of Duty is boring? I, I guess. <laughs> it's so good <laughs> so now I've got uh, 500 sheets of white rolled notebook paper so that's good alright uh, do you want to enter secret enemy hideout place <laughs> <laughs> you have fireworks fingers. <laughs> and so then I just place a bullet storm trailer. <laughs> yeah, we don't actually have to watch the bullet storm trailer. <laughs> That's fine. But yeah. Uh, so that, that's the entirety of duty calls. They programmed that and it's, it's silly as shit. I uh, loved it. So I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to play bullet storm. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> like that was fun to watch. That was good. Yeah. Uh, I, I honestly would play more of just games with bad voice actors like that personally. Yeah. Yeah. Like, they need to make a game... They just need to make a full version of Duty Calls. Yeah, absolutely. 100%. Yeah, yeah right on. So, uh, it was that was short. I'm assuming that was the whole thing, or... That's it. Yeah, okay. I beat it. Right on. All right. Anything else you want to say before we move on? Um, go America. It's not working. Is that, is that your working. commercial for America? 
No, I'm trying to make fireworks shoot out. Yeah, firework mm. fingers. Yeah. Oh, well. I'm sorry. It's unfortunately, reality does not involve those powers. I but... gave it a shot. <sighs> it was worth it. One right. day. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so for our final game of the evening. I'm excited uh, to see this. This is a first for this show on fucking Adver Games Week. Uh, so I decided I would say, hey, you know what was a good game that was also an Adver game for the Xbox 360? Uh, Doritos Crash Course. Doritos, yeah, Doritos it, Crash Course ruled. It really did. They made a, a, a good one, uh, a good Adver game. So I thought, okay. I'll try to see if they had a sequel to that and play that. Turns out you can't get that game, uh, the sequel or the the first one at all, really anymore, unless you uh, have a 360. But it was on the Windows 10 and uh, Windows 8. It's not available mm -hmm. anymore. But yeah, I think you can't even you can't even download it unless you've downloaded it before. Okay, yeah, so yeah. it's pretty much gone. Mm -hmm. So uh, I looked to see if Doritos had made any other games. And they did. They made a game called. Doritos VR battle. So finally, finally, I can live my way through a realistic Dorito battle. Yes, absolutely. So I'd said, yeah, I'll pay $3 to try that. Why not? Sure. Uh, so I bought it on Steam. Uh, and you're going to watch. Uh, unfortunately, I uh, could not get the camera to record with it at the same time without really severely reducing the frame rate. So we we don't have me waving my arms around. And shit. <laughs> but you can see the the results of, of me playing it. So uh, we're playing our very first VR game on this show, and it's going to be a fucking Doritos game. Are we so, going to get motion sick? Uh, there is a slight chance you may get motion sick. Am I going to get stomach sick from eating too many delicious Cooler Ranch Doritos? Uh, that will definitely happen. So just, you know, be prepared. You're probably going to get sick watching this. Sure, I'm ready. For one of two reasons. But uh, let's just get into it, right? Let's watch. All right. This so is already insane. Yeah, so we have my hands. Uh, if I pull uh, pull little triggers, I, I get uh, I get fingers. Okay. All right. So we start out in this weird void where I just basically grab a bunch of Doritos, <coughs> and I have to avoid this wall. I have to lean to the side. All right. Why are you crushing them in your hands? I <laughs> look. I just I I need to get the Doritos. I don't need them to be in good shape. <laughs> okay. Is the Dorito battle you throwing crushed up Doritos at people? Uh, well, we'll get there. So, how are you moving around? How am I moving? I'm I'm leaning my body. Okay. This is ridiculous. Yes. Oh wait, your score. My score. There we go. Fifteen hundred twenty or something. Dorito something like points. Yeah. Okay, so I skipped the next part because it's pretty much exactly the same. Okay. So here we have these little swinging pillars. We're this still collecting Doritos. This is a fucking nightmare. A little bit. It is It is a little intimidating actually being inside this world. So uh, sure. I have to make sure that I, I don't fucking hit these things that are swinging towards my fucking head. So this is VR, right? Yeah, this is VR. So if you hit by one of those, do you fly across the room into your wall? Yes. Okay. <laughs> no. That's how that uh, works. But it is disheartening because it's, you know, you're immersed in it. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You're in the Dorito world. Yeah. That you've always dreamed of. I almost got hit by that one. Oh my God. All right. Uh, oh, I got hit. Oh, no. I feel, uh, oh, I feel bad oh, in my man. belly. <laughs> All right, so uh, I, I failed right there. Luckily, it'll let me pick up from that level. So Mission like, briefing, right. grab Doritos. Yeah, let's, let's, let's try it again. Sure thing, MI6, Jesus. I cannot wait for Mission Impossible Fallout where it's like your mission, should you choose to accept it, grab Doritos. Yep. Can you slow yourself down? Nope. 
Oh, no. So I, I got hit in the back of the head that time. So I died again. So, uh... Do you have lives? No, you can keep going. I think you take, like, a score hit, but I don't fucking care about the scores. <laughs> sure. So, uh, I decide to try something new here. And that's, uh, to lay on the fucking ground. Okay. Uh... Like you physically were laying on the like ground. Like I physically laid on the ground. Okay. It works. Like they can't hit me. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, I just did that for every one of those swinging things, and uh, it's, it worked. What a so fun now, game so far. Now I've moved on. Now we're getting to the actual battle portion. Oh, shit. I've picked up these, these guns. What? Yep, so I'm just shooting. Man, I got loud. What? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, hey, there was, there was a, a guy there. There was a Dorito beast. There was a Dorito beast, and I, I killed it. I'm, I, I murdered it. He was like, how do you feel about Salsa Fair Day? <laughs> Dude, you're pretty good at this. Thank you. I don't know why the audio seems to be out of sync for me. I don't know if it is for you. Uh, a little bit. But it's not too bad. I mean, is there some kind of big voice acting cutscene that's going to... No. Yeah. What is the story of this game? Uh, you want Doritos enough that you'll shoot things for it. Yeah. Some... When you want Doritos really bad, you enter the Dorito Zone. <laughs> the Dorito Zone is a place inside the hearts and minds of all mankind where Doritos and your darkest fears exist. Turn around. There's a Dorito. Look to your left. There's a Dorito. So now we got all these beasts. These are the Dorito beasts. They were the, the remnants of Doritos that have been left in the bottom of a bag to rot. <laughs> can they hit you? Yes, they can. I'm trying to keep up with it, but it's uh, there's a lot happening, and they're yeah, this seems kind of difficult. Yeah, and like they're getting right up in my grill, man. Oh, and no. I got I got slain and, and one hit kills. <laughs> I, I think you may be a little upset, Nikki. I, I'm I'm sorry. Well, I think you know what to do. I, uh, yeah. Lay on the ground. <laughs> Uh, you know, actually, I didn't try that. That probably would have worked. If you play dead, they won't know that you're there. I, I've decided that uh, when I start getting toward the end, maybe I don't need to try to shoot all the ones that can't reach me anymore. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to focus more along the ones that are within uh, with ar within arm's reach. Hey, old beast. What you doing? Meeting a bag of Doritos. <laughs> Doritos. Oh, you did it. I made it. I, 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 I beast. slayed all those beasts. Hello. Enter the Dorito Lotus. This is the Dorito Prime. <laughs> the Dorito from which all other Doritos has come from. Touch it at your peril. It is a power unlike any Dorito you have ever imagined. It is Cool Ranch. It is Nacho Cheese. It is Salsa Verde. It is all Doritos at once. No! Shit! <laughs> <laughs> it just shattered and now it's what, orbiting me. What did you I do? I just, I grabbed it. And now I can grab the little parts. And, uh... That is the entirety of VR, uh, Dorito VR battle. <laughs> <laughs> that is the whole thing. So now I got to put in my score. Butts. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Uh, that was uh, Dorito VR Battle, first VR game of the show. Uh, Man, really just knocking it out of the park on the first one, huh? Right? No yeah. Uh, so it was. A I game get, that I, was made. I asked for a refund. 
So, <laughs> really? <laughs> I got my money back on it. Uh, it was only three bucks, though, so really, it, it's not that bad. Uh, but there are much better free VR games. So, you yeah, know. I recommend if you want to get the experience of Doritos VR Battle. Yeah. Eat some Doritos. Yeah, probably. Also, then, but like hold, while holding a gun. Yes. Yeah, and then Which shoot the some only weird... way the American would ever eat disgusting Mexican chips. Oh yeah. Please. Yeah, you make a very good point. Yeah. Right on. So uh, that's it, guys. Uh, that's all all we have for this week. I don't know what else to tell you. Uh, don't be greedy. Uh, you got four games this week, guys. That's a lot of games. Yeah. I feel like we've advertised uh, well, a lot of products. We did. Like uh, paper towels. This is a paper towel, not a regular one. Don't use it for your butt crack. <laughs> Sound advice. Yep. Uh, all right. So uh, before we go ahead and sign off for the week, Matt, what are we going to play next time? It's multiplayer week. We talked about it last oh, episode. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Nick, you'll be people, back. People, be listen, people watching this one are going to be like, why is it a multiplayer week? Yeah, because uh, Nikki had to go to wedding hell, so uh, so we will actually do multiplayer week uh, next time. Yes, um, yeah. So that's what you have to look forward to. This has been Cartridge Blowers. I'm Cody Coleman, and with me, as always, is Matt Krua. It's me. Yeah. Until next time, don't die. But Matt, what should they do? Well, first they should keep on blowing. Yeah. But then. They should use a microphone by Blue, the microphone people. This changed the way my voice sounds in the recording. <laughs> Just barely, honestly. <laughs> okay, well, now it's getting gross. All right, all right bye, everybody. <laughs> Other hand. <laughs> all right. Picking up things. Picking up things and doing adverts. Picking up things. <laughs> That's fun. Uh, cool. How long was that? I think that might have actually hit just at an hour. Good, good. Great. What is that noise in the background? What noise? You don't hear it. You don't hear it? I do not, no. Guys, do you guys hear it? Chat? It's like a roar, kind of. I hear some, uh, maybe a, a, a little bit of static. Yeah. It's whenever uh, I talk. Oh. It started up after uh, Hangouts decided to refresh itself. Uh, a little bit of static got in the background, but it's not a lot. Okay. I hear it. Uh, it, it I mean, it could be worse. Than it sounds to me, because uh, I am using uh, just earbuds. Sure. Uh, it, I'm not using good headphones because I it's need not like to go the sound part. From me, and I don't know what's causing it or what to do about it. But we're about done recording. It's, it's just very annoying. Yeah, uh, we'll fix itself. Maybe. Uh, you want to do your introduction? Uh, so Amber wrote down titles. We can go over hers first. Uh, number one in throat helping. Uh, when your head's a hurting, come swallow pills. Yeah, <laughs> I wrote that one down too. Um, I'm gonna write down number one in throat helping. Pwg.gov. Uh. Ten piece two ply. Can't uh, ten piece two ply can't lose. That was it. Yeah. Uh, drop that base and explode the king. Uh, once you go red, uh, once you get red, you never get out of bed. That's from Rotor. Oh, oh, that's right. Unfinished M and M business. I write that one down. I did not. No, I did. Um, Master Sergeant Shooter Person. 
I uh, said, it, I also said, when your head's a hurt and takes, uh, swallow some pills. Uh, made by a scab team. I'm going to go ahead and say no. Enjoy their many drops. Drop that base, explode the king. All the trees are dead. Here, have a key. Uh, where, Dorit uh, where Doritos and your darkest fears exist. Enter the Dorito Lotus. And that's it. That's what we got. So, uh, let's see, yay or nay. If your head's a hurting, swallow some pills. Or when your head's a hurting. Okay. okay. Uh, enjoy their mini drops. Their mini, mini drops. No. no. Drop that base and explode the king. No. Uh, all the trees are dead. Here, have a key. Unfinished M&M &M business. Maybe. Okay. Where Doritos and your darkest fears exist. No. Enter the Dorito Lotus. Maybe. I don't like that one. Number one in throat helping. No. PWG.gov. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ten piece two ply can't lose. Maybe. All right. Uh, oh, nope, sorry, the wrong one. Once you get red, you never get out of bed. That's Rotor. Uh, Master Sergeant Shooter Person. Maybe. So that is uh, all these. Nikki, did you have any? What Nikki pick? If you don't and you just enjoyed the episode for a change, that's then instead of having to do shit, that's fine. But I, I, I want you to have your input if you would like it. I guess no. So um, we have unfinished M&M &M business. Enter the Dorito Lotus. Uh, sure. Uh, unfinished M&M business, enter the Dorito Lotus, 10-piece, two-ply, can't lose, and Master Sergeant Shooter Person. Oh, yeah, it really does not fucking. Take the line breaks. Here, let's. Uh, maybe it won't cut out lots of spaces. Oh, it got out lots of spaces. <laughs> so there's there's no good way to, to separate this. Maybe we lost Nikki? Did we ever truly have Nikki? No. She's her own she's her own person. Yes. No one can have Nikki. Yeah, this episode was an hour and three minutes long. There we go. I separated it with lines. All right, everybody. Those are the ones we're voting for. Unfinished M&M &M business, enter the Dorito Lotus, 10-piece, two-ply, can't lose, and master sergeant shooter person. Doritos. What is it called? Your Dorito VR battle? Dorito V uh yeah, Dorito VR battle.
Amber likes Dorito Lotus, and Nikki likes Ten Piece Two Play Can't Lose. Who do you pick? Ten Piece Two Play Can't Lose is more fun to say. Okay. I think Enter the Dorito Lotus is funnier, but I also think it sounds kind of sexual. <laughs> sure. So uh, let's go. Let's go a little safer with uh, Ten Piece Two Ply Can't Lose. Is that good? Yeah. Man, I want to get uh, my real light and. Fucking barrage of 60 watt bulbs gets fucking hot, man. I need to get CFLs. Thank you. Thank you. I, uh, the new camera, uh, is, is, uh, I'm, I'm liking it a lot. Um, I ordered some lights that did arrive, uh, yesterday. Um, but, Cody uses yoga to center himself. He doesn't need to do it on camera. Well, I don't want to center myself too much more because I can't really move my chair to the side and still be able to reach the keyboard. Um, so I would have to move the camera, in which case you just get more of this here wall, uh, which uh, I think the backdrop is uh, more entertaining. I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Uh, da, ba, 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 ba. That's also where I end up putting the um, the like trailers and shit. So yeah. Uh, all right, Matt's ready. Local recording is go. Whenever you're ready. All right. <sighs> Greed is good, and we're also. Good, so we're greedy. Yes, we've sold out. This is official Cartridge Blower sponsored content. This week brought to you by Tank Time, a mobile tactical war game where a dude in a tank top travels through time. It's very bad. Use the code keep blowing to get three free tank tops. But don't worry about our channel changing. We're still going to be just as terrible as you remember. This week is no exception. It's Advert Games. I drop the beats to drop some beasts in a Skrillex quest. And then I fight to weather a storm. Nope. What I type? Never mind. I start over. <sighs> I typoed. <laughs> let, let me uh, start a new file. I typoed. That's okay. <sighs> happens to the best of us. All right. Uh, local recording is going again. And word. Whenever you're ready. Wait, I was blurred? What? Uh, I think she said your camera like auto-focused for a second. Oh, no one cares about that. Yeah, you're fine now. Okay. <sighs> Greed is good. And we're also good, so... We're greedy. Yes, we've sold out. This is the first official cartridge blower sponsored content. Uh, this week, it's brought to you by... Tank Time, a mobile tactical war game where a dude in a tank top travels through time. Use the code Keep Blowing to get free, free tank tops. But don't worry about our channel changing. We're still going to be just as terrible as you remember. This week is no exception. It's Adver Games. I drop the beats to drop some beasts in Skrillex quests, and then I weather a storm of bullets in Duty Calls. And Cody gets to the headquarters of the Red M&M, &M, leader of Al-Qaeda, in m and Adventure. And then he enters the Dorito Lotus in Dorito VR Battle. All this, and what's the goodest pill to eat? It's Carger's Blowers, episode 126. Ten-piece, two-ply, can't lose. 
Speaking of not losing, this video is also brought to you by Ebony Online. Come play, my lord. These are bosoms. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. Recorded. <laughs> Ebony oh. online. It's fun that we all get that joke. Yeah, man. Uh, coffee. I was wondering if it was too too out there. Why won't it let me copy? I know we've all seen that really stupid ad. Yeah, absolutely. Those many stupid ads. <laughs> that final that, that, that Final Fantasy fifteen has copied. Hmm. Final Fantasy fifteen does ads in the style of Ebony Online for their mobile game. Do they really? I haven't. Yes, they're very bad. That's not good at all. Yeah, it's on. It's on. <laughs> I saw it. It was on the Super Bowl. I didn't. I didn't watch the Super Bowl. No, I didn't either. I went and watched a YouTube video. Uh, it was a collection of commercials. That's fair. Uh, well, let me copy your thing for some reason. Well, too bad. I'm gonna have to actually type it. Well. Too bad. All right. So, uh, yeah. So, I guess be thinking about games you want to play for uh, multiplayer week. We should do a race. Sure. Uh, do we know, like, what, what would we like to race? Last, we raced Mario 1, then we raced Mario 3. Yeah. We could do World. Yeah. Just keep going up. And just We skipped Mario 2 because Matt would definitely win. Right. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we could do world randomizer. That uh, man, dude. There would be no that, practice. Yeah, that would also be hard to. Like, there's there would be no strats for. Uh, it'd be hard to fit that into an episode. Is what I'm saying. How do you mean? Because you may have to actually play the whole thing. Because you wouldn't be able to. No, the world map wouldn't be different. Oh, okay. It's just the levels. Yeah. We could still Star Road right to the end. But yeah, there's other things we could play. Nikki can play things now. Let's just do Civ 6. Yeah, just one long Civ 6 one game. One long Civ 6. All right. I'll, I'll be thinking about it. Until then, I think I'm going to be sleeping about it because it's almost 2 a.m. Yeah, I, I need to get to bed too. <laughs> As soon as I finish typing this thing up, I'm gonna go to bed now because I'm I'm a sicky boy and I want to not be sick. So you guys have a good night. It's been a pleasure, right. uh, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for uh, yes, yes, sir. The show. All right, unless man. unless I really do have the flu, in which case you'll never see me again. Oh no, it'll be like the West Nile scare all over again. The flu does turn you invisible, right? Yeah, yeah. It's probably okay. well. This particular strain. Yeah, I've heard it's really yeah, bad in this flu. Dude. <laughs> yeah, man. It's uh, uh, got bit by some fucking invisible men, and it's <laughs> just super bad. Is that how that works? Yeah, I think so. I've read a lot of comic books. Okay, so and then I'm, a man I'm who you can turn invisible bites you. It's like Wait. a... Okay, stop. And comic yeah. book logic... If anyone bites you, do you get their abilities? I think so. So if Superman bites me. Okay. You can also I... become a sportsman. Why don't... Well, I don't want to become sportsman. He's different. I want to become <laughs> Superman. <laughs> uh, I mean Superman. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, you'll be Superman. Multiple? You'll you, You'll be... <laughs> Well, you'll have to switch between the different powers of the different Superman. So, like, you could either be Superman, you could be could Cyborg be Superman, you could be you could be Steel Shack, you could be Superboy. Really, they all have the same powers, with the exception of like Shack. Like, none uh, of them have the same powers, Cody. Well, uh, Superboy has the same powers as Superman. He doesn't. Does he not? Like Jack no. and Superman? Superboy has what's called tactile tele... Listen, I was about to go to bed and you did this. I did. <laughs> Superboy has tactile telekinesis, which mimics a lot of Superman's abilities, 
but really he's a telekinetic. And oh, so really? the super strength is really just very finely tuned telekinesis. Okay. All right. Yeah. And Steel doesn't have Superman's powers. He's got, like, Iron Man's powers. Yeah, he's more Iron Man, yeah. And then the Cyborg Superman is really just a ghost? Well, well yeah. And he can... Does he have ghost powers? Kinda. Okay. But he possesses machines. And he's insane. And he's Reed Richards. Anyway, um, we're gonna go. All right. <laughs> I have more questions about the Superman and their and their reign. Write what? them down. Write them yeah. down, on that and we'll, we'll yeah. talk about it in the next event. The team. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah. Have a good one. All right, buddy. Bye. Bye. All right, you two. Uh, you four. Um, two, the two that are chatting. I, I, I was who I was referring to, but really all of you in the stream. Uh, it's it's time. It's time for us to uh, to end the show. I believe Matt's gone. So. Uh, Goodbye, I suppose. I don't know. We'll uh we'll be back here in two weeks' time to record games where we just play together and uh yeah, no real premise. Just us having fun. That's what we do, right? <laughs> All right, guys. You have a good night. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Stopped streaming.